God help me. Happy New Year, everybody. It's the Disc Only Podcast. Was that live? <laughs> I think I just unmuted us just as you would finish that sentence, so I think it only caught me laughing at it. Oh, are we, are we on the internet? <laughs> yeah, we're on the internet. Welcome okay. to the Disc Only Podcast, where we talk about how Swedish Chef would be the best Fortnite skin to have on Proton John. Murder Horgish Murder Tom Fox. I, I don't I can't do any voices, but I'm Stephen George. And I'm Jared. Hello. 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 Hey lady. Hey lady. This is gonna be the voices only podcast, isn't it? Holy frick. Oi, the, with the Look, thing I'm always the, using, I'm always looking for an excuse to talk like this instead, so Holy <laughs> Just <laughs> Jared throwing out his Jerry Lewis impression. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Lies oh he can God. do I, Elmo. I, when could you do Elmo? Wait, I can't do. I can't I think do that's Elmo. Steven. I could, oh, Steven yeah. doing Elmo. I can do Elmo. I know. I know. Emil can. I didn't know you could. I don't know what I can do. I mean, I can just. Here's my <laughs> problem. Let me tell you my problem, John. Yeah. My problem is that I can start a voice. Yeah. And I will not end in the same. Voice. <laughs> <laughs> That's a I mean, I'm talking like we start British and we end in pirate. Like, can, <laughs> yeah, I believe that. I believe that with you. That's just how it is. So my characters, I you know, they evolve, but rapidly. It, it's it's an interesting <laughs> choice of evolution. I will admit. Well, <laughs> as if I have a choice. <laughs> <laughs> you don't really have That's a choice in evolution. <laughs> it's you know, it's fine. I don't mind it. I got, I got an Elmo. I said I can do Elmo. I don't actually have like an Elmo puppet or plush <laughs> or anything like that. I have an Elmo plush downstairs. Was it sent to you around the time you did one of those extra lives where you? Uh... <laughs> Why do you know me? <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Why are we friends? How do you know? How do you know? Who told you this? <laughs> Who are you? Who told you about my Elmo? <laughs> Who told you about my life? You, you did just like two seconds ago. You, you, your life is public to the internet, dude. <laughs> who, t who let you watch the last 10 years of my life? <laughs> <laughs> who let you? <laughs> How did you subscribe to this? <laughs> How did you find this publicly accessible web page? <laughs> my God. <laughs> he has fingers with which to type the URL. <laughs> <laughs> How, who told you I had fingers? <laughs> That's very private. <laughs> I wear mittens all the time to cover up my, my gross unifinger. <laughs> <laughs> I love the concept of unifinger. I hate no, this. I, I, do, I do not. That yeah, just, me and John, just Ninja Turtle. Ninja Turtle's already kind of up there with three. Th th yeah, they're, they're, to they're towing the line with that one, but like unifinger, like, and, and just like, ugh, like a single, like, just like, a single fingernail, like across all of it. Oh my oh. god! So actually, that's called a mitten. That's just a mitten with nails. <laughs> Mittens have fingernails? That's called I, you're I the freaking them. penguin. I actually did know a guy who had uh, his middle finger and his ring finger were one finger. So he had oh, on wild. one hand, he had he had four fingers, or I guess he had like the super middle thumb. finger. He, he was able to and tell like, somebody to frick <laughs> off. And it was really interesting because like. It's not that the finger was missing. It's like they were just like conjoined. So it was like yeah. one very big finger. I bet. Were, I, bet. I, I, I guess like, like I'm wondering how in first off, how in depth you went in on like asking this, but like were the were the bones <laughs> were the bones fused as well? Or were like the individual finger bones like in there? Um, I don't know, but I have like I, I shook his hand before and it was like a bit of a talking point because it was his right hand. And uh, he was he was just like, isn't that gnarly, man? He's like, that's crazy, ain't it? And I was like, that's really cool. I like, but I didn't thing. I didn't then be like, so show me the X rays. <laughs> <laughs> How many bones show me the are proof. in there? I need the receipts, man. <laughs> I just want to know is it is it one bone or two bones? I had a friend many... in uh, in high school who had kind of the opposite, where his uh, the the end of his thumb, like from the last knuckle to the tip of his thumb, was split into two. Oh, we always joke that it made mashing. We always, we always joke that it made mashing two buttons at the same time very easy. 
And actually, when he when he ran for class president, that was his logo. Like he just traced his he just traced his thumb and like put that on the uh, on all the other uh, um his campaign posters. That's, That's actually a good fantastic. insignia, like because everyone immediately knows who Dave is. Yeah. <laughs> you know, stink markers. Uh, uh, th yeah, I'll name him. His name was Savas. Oh, that's, that's -A very specific. A yeah, S A V V A S Savas. Well, everybody knows who Savas is. Yeah, you told. He was a cool was dude. I, I, right I should get in contact with him again. He was. He was a cool dude. He was class president for uh, for a year, and he played like he was a great actor. He played all the lead roles in our um, in our uh, school productions. Hmm. So was it, it was. It was is two thumbs or just like so he so like from so like from like the base up to like the the like the upper knuckle was one thumb and then it split into two at the at but, the end there. Okay, okay, hold on, just real quick question. It split into <laughs> two side by side or up and down? Um, at like kind like kind of like at a ninety degree angle from each other. It looked like the letter Y. It was oh, a split, a split okay. thumb, basically split thumb. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, I see. All right, I had to envision that. Yeah, that's 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 very cool. <laughs> like I, I'm cool with having just you know the normal amount myself. Cut, <laughs> like, I, I just want the normal amount of digits. Yeah, like, no big deal. I, mean, I, I think it's like, freaking. I think it's cool as frick though, uh, especially that like he leaned into it. You know what I'm saying? Like that's yeah. just that's just like uh, Chad behavior. Like oh, yeah. I'm I'm glad that like. I, I like the fact that I hadn't like double jointed in my thumb. Like I have that that hitchhiker's thumb thing because I freak oh, you, people you, out like with you, that. You can bend like your thumb really far back. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I like that. It makes playing guitar weird though. Like if I ever like try and play guitar, it like kind of hurts because I'm holding the guitar wrong. I have to like force myself to grip it a different way because mm -hmm. I want to naturally lean it on that, but it's like the, it, it gets very angry very fast. Fortunately, you found another instrument. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> one that doesn't require the one one that even like might be a little bit more difficult if you didn't have thumbs. But even without thumbs, you could probably still play it. The Glockenspiel, exactly. There you go. The eight bit Glockenspieler. <laughs> uh, I would I would listen to that. I probably would too, actually. I actually don't know what a Glockenspiel sounds like. Um, light light chiming, unique. like high, like because the the keys on it are metal. Oh, okay. See, I got that. I was getting that mixed up with another thing. Okay. The marimba? Yes. I was getting it mixed up. The xylophone? Ooh, excuse me. I do. I want to play a theremin. That's what I want to play. Yeah, those that are thing, fun. That crap sounds so cool. It's the sound <laughs> it's like... of the future today. <laughs> it's the sound of it's the sound of Hades is what it is, man. That like <laughs> he used a lot of theremin in that soundtrack, and it worked perfectly for it. I didn't know what a so, hurdy gurdy was until I played Sea of Thieves. Hurdy gurdy is awesome. Yeah, it's like Sorry, super I was look, hard I was to play. Up how, how much a uh, theremin is? Because I am extremely curious. <laughs> <laughs> they they run the gamut a little bit, but it looks like to get a nice one, you need to spend probably in like the the four four to six hundred dollar range. That's not bad at all. I mean, they're neat. Hmm. Might, They're really might, like it's might have myself a theremin stream here. <laughs> yeah. The eight bit theremin <laughs> might have to bring that on. Everybody's like, get right, a cowbell, we're ladies and gentlemen. We're rebranding. No longer the eight bit drummer. Meet the eight bit eight bit theremin player, bro. Like everybody's been like, yo, get a get a uh, a cowbell for your kit. Oh, get a cowbell. And I'm like, you know what? I'll I'll one up you. I'll get a freaking theremin for my kit. Like, <laughs> <laughs> how would that work with drumming? <laughs> So you could, I bet you could figure out a way to make like, if it's like, um, like a, I don't even know how you say it, like a futuristic theremin, right? Where it's only just, Hey, you need to put something in the line of light in order to make it like do something. I could probably like just wave a stick through it or something of that nature. Like that would be kind of sick. <laughs> I feel, I feel like you'd be drumming then just like in the middle of it, you go, ew, 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 ew. <laughs> yeah. I think I'd be sad. I bet I could pull that crap off. I don't, I don't, man, ideas for the future. Yeah, you should you should certainly buy a theremin and sit it on your drum set so you can just <laughs> play his megalovania on the theremin. <laughs> uh, 
Ooh. Oh my god. I mean the the thing the thing that seems difficult about the theremin is that you have to be extremely dexterous but also have to have like extreme muscle memory mm -hmm. for where the notes are. Yeah. It's kind of like it's kind of like playing a fretless bass. Or the yeah, or, or, or like the automaton. Yeah. Oh god, yeah. Like, <laughs> I wish I was decent at the automaton. I'm bad at it. I love the way it sounds, but it just I can't. <laughs> I, I can't think of it without the without the sketch that Jules and and uh, and Jack did for for TRG that one year. You're, you're still playing the Automat One. Well, I've got the Automat Two. <laughs> that was such a good bit. It was so stupid but perfect. Those two were way funnier than they. I think they give themselves credit for. Oh yeah, hundred percent. The the, the really best are. part was is that like they they built it up as like breaking down like the comedy of it. They they built it up as a um. Cause like, cause the entire time Jack was mispronouncing automaton as like something else, and then the follow up when when uh, Jules comes in, Jules comes in and says the automat one, you just think he's being funny and mispronouncing it, and then the automat two comes out and nails you from and like blindsides you. It's great. Like getting getting both of them in a room together and just letting them be funny is probably some of the best freaking content that I've seen like on the internet. Cause like uh, he was having a birthday stream the other day. And Jack and Jules were just freaking, they were jamming to a song and then Jules started singing to the song and y'all can imagine how that turned out. And then Jack would start singing to the song too. And he's just like, oh, frick this. I'm just going to play guitar. <laughs> it's just like, like, I would say like Jack, Jack is just so naturally funny, but it's so like dry. It's such a tongue in cheek, yeah. just funniness. And Jules, of course, is just off the rails, but like you put them both together and it's just, it's like a match. Yeah, Jack Jack is extremely funny. He really is. I still laugh at the peaches one. Because oh, I, just, I just start just, laughing at him actually writing Hampter into like his tracker and just that's <laughs> yeah, what he played. <laughs> oh god. Hampter. Hampter. You know, there so there will good. be um like another Coliseum. I hope. I guess we don't know, do we? <laughs> we have them. We we have them already. They're called football stadiums. <laughs> I say the event is scheduled. It's just not publicly released yet. When that schedule is, we put way too much investment in other people's physical prowess and also their personal lives, because when they have the controversies, everybody cheers. Do you what? Think? Sorry, what are we talking about? He's talking about, about athletes, I, is what he's talking about. Oh. I was like, what in the world? I'm glad that <laughs> both me and Steven were just like, huh? <laughs> I don't know if it's a good sign or a bad sign that I had no problem following Tom. <laughs> <laughs> John's learned to speak Tom! Oh, God! <laughs> we'll, we'll pray for you, John. It'll be okay. Thank you. I have many things that need to be prayed don't about worry, right You now. guys will get there eventually. <laughs> Just need more exposure. Hey, Jared, we gotta play fighters at some point. I'm Tom. Oh God, it's happening already. <laughs> dude, we do need to play fighters, man. Frick, yeah. I oh, I've been playing, dude. Uh, Grand Blue Fantasy versus Rising, really good, by the way. Mm. Like I've been playing that. I've been playing as Ladiva, and one of the best grapplers in fighting games, dude. So fun. She, I have to, I have to give it. A, 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 how is it compared to Android 16? Oh, it's wonderful. It's absolutely wonderful. Like they have like three different command grabs. It's kind of nuts. Maybe three or four. They have a leg drop. They have a freaking like Potemkin buster. They have like a uh, command grab super that goes into a animation where you're in the middle of a ring and the damage is done by the referee sitting, hitting one, two, and then three. Oh, that's it's, awesome. It's so good, dude. That game is so fun. I love La Diva so much. Oh man, yeah. Oh, I gotta pick. I, I I should pick that up then, because like I started yeah. learning stuff about fighters, and then like and, and this like when I was doing like the combo um stuff just to learn them, I was like, shit, Android sixteen is really fun. The yeah, Android sixteen is like my main in that game. Um, other than Super Broly, mm. uh, John, we need to play Strive. We still haven't played we, Strive. You're at my house. We I mean, sat we next to my PS five. I had a multiple-hour conversation and never played Strive. 
Listen, you know, listen, that was a good conversation though. Like legit. Um, but yeah, dude, we still need to play. Who's your main in Strive, John? Uh, May. May. Oh, oh, God, help me. Yeah, I have, I have like, a, May's uh, been my main since Double X. Yeah. Well, I, th- I thought it was May. Uh, the reason why I say, oh, God, is I have a f- another friend that mains May and they are very good with May. <laughs> so <laughs> she's Geki. painful, dude. Yeah. Tosugeki's painful, especially Tosugeki. whenever like you're trying to you're trying to get in with Potemkin. Oh, God. I saw one uh, this one art of uh, her name's May, right? Yeah. Yeah. Was something like about like about her being like she's like yeah I'll have like a I'll have like a beer or something like that and someone's like aren't you a little young for that it's like nah dude I'm third I'm like thirty <laughs> yeah that's that was a, a running gag in the series of just like she looks like really young like she's twelve and then like I think in one of the signs or one of the XRs rather she's like yeah I'm I'm like in my like thirties <laughs> everyone thinks I'm just super young <laughs> so Steve what pirate. fighting game are you gonna play with Jared yeah <laughs> um. That yeah, my, so my uh, Stephen, you, like, you seem like a king of fighters player, honestly. My f- that's my favorite fighting game, King of Fighters ninety eight. Hey, he picked the good year, <laughs> nicely done. Uh, Man, I, was, I wasn't sure where you were gonna go with that because it just kind of sounded like you were pulling a Commander Shepard, being like, "This is my favorite shop on the Citadel." This is that's my favorite game that's my favorite game actually of all that's time yeah of all time. <laughs> eat, eat, eat your heart out earthbound um, my favorite character in king of fighters is uh, uh joe that's actually, one of well, them uh, that's one of them listen listen here's the thing Th- think about it for a second terry wears a red hat gets his power from the earth says okay terry's just ness why didn't i say terry <laughs> <laughs> you, look, Joe and Terry are on the same team, so you technically were close. I, I it's true. There is a jo- there I is a Joe made up a name. I like, there is Joe. a there is, there is just... a Joe in King of Fighters. Yes. Okay. Well, You're Joe just... is my favorite character on in the my Citadel. favorite video game of all time, <laughs> King of Fighters '98. Yeah. T- t- take that, Matthew Patrick. <laughs> the real theory is that Terry is Ness. <laughs> my favorite thing to do is uh, Matthew Patrick. Quarter circle forward punch kick, punch kick. Ooh, ooh. Yeah. No one expects you to do so, both. So, so a f- fireball into a kick. Now nah, Joe's wait, fireball wait. is different. That's a half circle. Okay. Wait, no. So if you press uh, punch and kick at the same time, that would just be like a either a super or a block. Then, it, that's a roll a grab, I believe, actually for for Joe. Is it for, a roll? Okay. For ninety eight, it should okay, be. A roll. This man, I love the fact that Steven's just throwing out random crap and it's actually like real. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I have the gift. I can tell you about anything you'd like to know about and it'll be true. The funny that, thing uh, would be if I was just completely <laughs> lying the entire time and just fucking with him. When that uh, when that Ryu from Streets video came out, one of my friends who's really into fighting games was like, what the fuck does jumping into light fierce mean? <laughs> <laughs> Oh God! Yeah, I don't know all the the terms and stuff yet, but I have really, really been enjoying fighting game stuff recently. Rem- it's been great. I remember when when I went to visit uh, a meal for a TRG recording. We 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 all went out to a restaurant at some point, and that was like a, when I was like at the peak of like referencing that that Ryu from Streets meme. Uh. <laughs> We were at the restaurant. I had to go to the bathroom, and when I came back, there was water without any ice for me. Because <laughs> John ordered it for me, and I was like, I, I know what you wanted. Yeah, water without any ice? <laughs> you oh, then proceeded to dirt. jump into Light Fierce. There you go. <laughs> allow me to throw on the newest season of The Simpsons. And dirt. I will never so, stop quoting that part. That's my favorite part. <laughs> Sorry, in an in, in, in a in an attempt to bring the topic to something I understand, I want to... <laughs> King of Fighters, uh, you already understand it. We know. I'll talk about it. Is Joe, your favorite mood? Did, move did you is, like King when she was in ninety eight, ninety nine, two thousand, or two thousand one? Which version is your favorite? I should be. I sh- really should keep a tab of how often fighting games are brought up on Disc Only because I swear to God, it is once per episode. And I, I, I'm not far off. I know Listen, I'm not. I didn't, I didn't bring it up, first of all. But it's also, I don't know if it b- beats out the dreams talk. Does it? 
it it is slightly more often than dreams. However, <laughs> dreams as a concept has had way more time to. I was gonna say dreams as a concept has definitely had more talking time. But verbally, I'm sure fighting games have come up a little bit more. I I just love the fact that this freaking thing is becoming like self aware. You know what I'm saying? Like it's just we know what we what we talk about. And I, and I like stabbings at Denny's. We're going to have one of those like word be. arts and it's just going to be like five <laughs> words and it's just going to be stabbings, dreams, uh, what is that? Yeah, fighting games. games, Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> there, we do talk about Dragon Ball be, a lot. There does need to be a disc only bingo card because yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. there are Fanta's the last one, are. by the way. Fanta's and the Apple Watch. Oh, what you know, the... Apple Watch, actually. Yeah. <laughs> what is the center? What is the center one? Uh, like what, the, what's the, the, what's the free space? Like what we just yeah. talk about? Like what is gar- so guaranteed? Yeah. What would oh, the man. center space be? Dan. What happens every single time? I'm Tom, I guess. Oh, Steven goes first. Or sorry, sorry. Steven's after Tom. That's what happens. <laughs> whoa, you don't whoa, even whoa, know, whoa, John. Whoa, we're changing the <laughs> format on the fly here. Come Mixing on. it up for you. No free space for us. We're fricked. <laughs> <laughs> play, some, play some blackout. Dude, the funny thing is, is that you could probably play blackout bingo with us because we're <laughs> we do we do we have so like, we are so predictable no well not even that but we just got our own passions man and we will talk about them all day yep. like as, the fact that i'm good. shiny hunting for for a quagsire in a game where you shouldn't shiny hunt what what number are you on now 250 jeez oh my god I, 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 like i'm not even close to odds right now like odd, the odds are one in eight thousand one hundred ninety two. Oh my god and no. every every attempt, every attempt takes two to five minutes. No, wait. Why? What? What game are you doing it in? Coliseum. Oh, you madman! Okay, okay. I thought you were doing it in one of the uh, what you call it games, like the regular ones. Okay. Oh yeah, like, no. one of the regular ones. Yeah, one of the one of the normal not Coliseum Pokemon games. Okay, that makes a lot of sense as to why it's taking you freaking forever. Yeah. Pokemon Coliseum was not meant to have shiny Pokemon. They were, yeah. it was meant to like where they were just going to like shiny lock all of them, but they screwed up because they didn't take in for account that the personality ID, uh, per, yeah, personality ID of the Pokemon changes when you catch it um, and doesn't re-roll for it afterwards. So when a, when a, um, when a trainer sends up their Pokemon, it's never going to be shiny. When you catch it, it has a chance to be shiny, which oh, is why gosh. the attempts take so long because you have to catch it. Yeah, and, okay. And you can't save near the encounter. You have to save at a PC. Oh my good god. Okay. Yeah, no, that makes sense. Cause like I, I did see that you were shining hunting, but I didn't notice what game you were doing it in. Um and yeah, that's a nightmare. <laughs> yeah, the uh the, the goal the goal was is to uh get a shiny ribbon master quagsire where I try to get every single ribbon in uh that's obtainable in every Pokemon game. And I've already looked deep down this rabbit hole. I've got pretty much all the resources i need to get through generation three i just need to catch the damn thing mm. yeah X, in xd they pure uh they purified it they uh they fixed it in uh in xd but uh, you can still get shiny pokemon in it through the um wild pokemon encounters mm, yeah i can it. skip gen 5 gen 5 has no ribbons oh it just, good luck. Sounds, <laughs> it just sounds difficult uh-huh. uh difficult no time consuming yes because listen, it's it's basically it just it, for the most part turns into a just chatting stream. Because like you know yeah. it's you know uh, uh, the the process is I start up the save file, I go fight the guy, I catch the Quagsire. It's not pink. I hit the plus button on my counter that also says nope from TF2. I reset the game, <laughs> R- rinse and repeat. So then I just like oh. throw on I just throw on some Silva Gunner remixes and talk with chat. I mean that's a good time. Yeah, I've only shiny hunt once, and that was in. Um... Oh God! Uh, let's go, Evie. I think it was because it was relatively simple. Oh, yeah, but it's I a never, lot easier in that one. Yeah, I never, like, I never got one. I'm just not one for that type of grind. Mm-hmm. I mean, like, here's the thing: like, it, 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 like, you can feasibly catch a shiny and let's go very easily. Mm-hmm. Um, the, the big thing is that like you have to get like the catch combo up. Uh, so yeah. just catch the same Pokemon, like, which you don't even need to do that many. It's, it's like twenty of them. And then mm-hmm. once you're done with that, um, you could just like run around an area and like just look on the field for them. And that's that's the, basically the entire thing. Yeah, no, it's super easy. And that's that's like one of the only reasons why I went uh, and tried that in Let's Go on a, on a stream one time. I was just like, this is just not for me. I can't I can't do the shiny hunt, man. It's I just can't stupid keep it easy. Up. 
It is stupid yeah. easy in Scarlet and Violet. Yeah. You just you make a shiny sandwich, you run through, and and bam. Oh yeah. Uh so in generation three of Pokemon, there are they're like the end of there's like these uh these they're Pokemon contests, and they each have their own individual stats. Um on the e-reader, uh like with with the e-reader for the Game Boy Advance, there were uh several e-reader exclusive berries uh that could help with like getting the stats up. One of them, which is arguably the best one, but takes a long time to actually like get any progress out of it, is called the Nut Pea Berry. Oh. Of course it is. It's just peanut backwards, and it looks like a peanut. <laughs> hmm. Thought you'd like to I thought you'd like to have knowledge of the Nut Pea Berry. I mean, that's where it's stored. Yep. Wait. Shaking my head. There it is. <laughs> Shaking my head. Yep. Nut, nut P is stored. <laughs> nut, P, nut, nut P is stored in the card. <laughs> in the oh, e-reader card. Did, did we say that P was stored in the nut? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, I mean, I, I'm not like a urologist, but it's not stored there. That's not so, where it is. Right, something, a, a bit of a, a bit of a trend that's happening on this episode. Um, is... You're gonna hate what I just put on screen, by the way. <laughs> oh God! Oh! Yeah, the Unifinger. <laughs> oh God! <laughs> it's a comic of Steven showing off his Unifinger. Oh my Lord! And it's Tom just, looks you're a crab. Very horrified. You are a crab. Man. <laughs> Man. Carcinization, baby. <laughs> oh God! So, uh, uh, a a trend that I've seen on this episode is. Two of us are talking about something, and then two of us are just like, what? <laughs> <laughs> and I'm loving it. It's happened like four times already, and I'm just I mean, like... That, that's my great. role half the pocket. is like, what? Why? <laughs> no. You learn new things. You learn well, new it's things. Well, it's usually three on one with John doing the what, but it's been two on two uh, on this I'm one specifically. I'm not alone, finally. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know what? Every Steven, Steven and John, go ahead and take over. Doing yeah, the we'll take a break. We're we'll talking about the topic. It'll be fine. Yeah. Okay. You got this, John. Um, yeah. How was your How was your Christmas? Uh <laughs> Yeah. It was all right. All right. Now uh, you ask me I got a book was. for Christmas. No, I'm Thank serious. you, Steve. I, Steve, I love you so much, man. You have to ask. I'm not. I'm not gonna start talking. You have to ask me. <laughs> How oh, was your Jared Christmas? Jared Steven? is dead. L I've been my listen. Christmas. I've been sick for about a month, man. I'm coming out of it. Oh. Jared, it's my turn to talk. So, <laughs> so Christmas was great. Would you like oh, yeah. to know more information? <laughs> yes, I, I would actually like a little bit more than that. Please, please continue, maybe, sir. Maybe like another fucking, five words is this, at least. Is this, a okay. 900, is this a 900 number? Are you just stalling for time so you can get as much out of John as possible? <laughs> I only have this, so this, much this, bandwidth up here, Steven. Come on. This is 20 cents a minute. <laughs> so uh, two dollars two dollars for the first minute oh. Chris, Chris, uh, Christmas was good it, Christmas every year is very similar where my mom is like what would you like for Christmas and I say nothing and she's like but what do you really want for Christmas and I was like nothing I desire no earthly possessions do not buy me anything and then she reaches out to <laughs> Mao and she's like what does he secretly want and Mao's like nothing he really wants nothing I can't get him anything because he doesn't want anything. And that's just how it goes. So then when my mom comes to me for like the fourth time, it's like, please tell me something. I'm like, snacks. I had to start I had to start making an Amazon wish list for my family because they were they were getting sick of it. But they do the same thing back to me, which is infuriating. Yep. I'm like, hey, what do you guys <laughs> want for Christmas? Winning a lottery ticket? All right, if I can't get that, you got a second idea in mind? No. I, I Dude, next time yeah, they ask have you ever that, just have you ever just been like I give up and it, like not gotten them anything and then they get upset at you for not getting them anything? No, I'm like, all right, well you're going into the gift gift card hell, so all right, in, enjoy gift card hell. <laughs> I had to, I did have to do that for one of my family members, like my my sister's uh, fiance. 
I have no freaking idea. But the cool thing is, is that he loves shopping at Home Depot. So I just got him like he's a he's like a carpenter. So I just got him a Home Depot gift card. And he's like, this is exactly what I wanted. And I'm like, nice. <laughs> Easy. <laughs> <laughs> just just every single every single holiday Home Depot gift cards. Bro, I- like legit. Birthday Home Depot gift cards. He, he is Christmas he is birthday, one of Home the, Depot gift cards. Fourth of July Home Depot gift cards. <laughs> I'm not like I'm not even kidding, man. Like he is just Arbor Day the, gift the, card. The, the day about wood Home Depot gift card. <laughs> Shut <laughs> up. <laughs> <laughs> he's my, legit though. He's the easiest dude to buy for. Uh, just a gift card, man. It's freaking nuts. My dad is in that. He's just like, hey, you got me a gift card last year. I could use that again. Dad's like that, <laughs> and my brother in law is like. Every year it's a gift card, but every year it's a gift card for a different store. So I'll ask my sisters, like, oh, yeah, what does he want this year? He's like, oh, get him a gift card for this place. Oh, get him a gift card for this other place. This other place. Mm-hmm. Like every, It's never the same store. See, yeah. Mao, Mao has a list. Like, Mao, Mao actually keeps, like, a running list of just things that she's, like, interested in that she would be happy to have. Yeah, and Reese does the same thing. That's really helpful. <laughs> but when my mom is like, what's on that list? And I tell her... Then mom is like, but what is something she's not expecting? Oh and I'm like, mom, God. I can't, I gave you the list. We can't make <laughs> it any <laughs> easier <laughs> than this. <laughs> and like, you are, you are on your like, own. On top of that, like, why, why ask what somebody wants for Christmas? Well, so my, my mom got, got some stuff on that list for Mal, but she wanted to have something that would be a surprise. And you know what she did? She did probably the smartest thing she could have done. She reached out to Haley. Huh. And she was like, Haley, please tell me what Stephen and Mal want for Christmas. And Haley helped her and actually gave her really good suggestions that even me and Mal couldn't have come up with. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, like, one of the, like one of the things that um, Mal has been into, Mal, Mal never played with Legos until this year. And... Hmm. Uh, she was like, oh, man, Legos are cool. And she's been really into, like, the botanical sets. Mm-hmm. So Haley was like, oh, Mal's been doing, you know, botanical set Legos. And uh, helped my mom, like, pick one out. And that was a genuine surprise to Mal. And I was like, okay, that was pretty good. That was actually mm-hmm. a very good job. I um I was really happy with this year because, um well, me and Erica didn't get to go over on Christmas morning to my family's place because uh, we both were sick. And, well, she was sick and then I got sick. Um, so we weren't able to do that, but we, what we did was on new year's Eve, we went over around like five o'clock cause like we were still recovering, but we were no longer contagious or whatever. Um, but we went over and did like a small gift exchange just with like my close family. And that was so wonderful because we just got to sit there and like enjoy like the, the process. And a lot of the stuff that I ended up getting for my family this year was like stuff that I made myself or something that like I dude, here's a freaking life hack for y'all. Um, on Amazon, there's like these, these books that are like 100 things I love about you or love about mom or dad or whatever. Those are really good. And they're like five bucks (laughs) and you just fill them up. And, uh, like that's basically what I did for, uh, family members this year. Like I drew a couple of people, something freaking did that. I didn't go nuts, you know? Um, cause I am not, I'm not one for going absolutely crazy on Christmas. Um, I just, I don't know. I just can't, <laughs> uh, but I try to make everything I do get like really, really special, you know? It, I think that the, the thing that I try to get across to my mom, which I, I, she understands, but hmm. still wants to do stuff. Is that like I don't I don't care because I just want to spend time. Yeah, like that's that's it. I just want to I would just want to exist in the same room, <laughs> and that's it. I don't need anything else. I don't want anything else. I just want you you know like make make some cookies, <laughs> and let's just sit in chat and be in the same room. Like that's the that's the only thing that I want. So my, my mom was absolutely insane this year. Um, she was like, Jared, I have no idea what to get you other than like sketchbooks and pencils. Is there something that you would really want for Christmas this year? And I actually had something this year because um, over the past two months, I've been trying to find a replacement laptop for work. And I ended up, I, I, I told you all about this before the podcast, but I, I bought two different ROG like gaming laptops and they both came with problems 
out of the box. So I had to return both of them. And my mom was just like, why don't you just go get a MacBook? And I'm like, you know what? I think the time has come. <laughs> so uh, like we ended up going halfies on that. And my God, I love it. I absolutely love that thing so much. So shout out to my mom for being an absolute bro. <laughs> Man, well, God. welcome Wild. to the fold. Wild Christmases. Yeah, like we we usually don't go too crazy, but um, this year my mom was like, "I want to get you something that you're going to use." And I'm like, "Okay, <laughs> uh, bet." <laughs> so, <laughs> so we ended up uh, doing that, and it was just it was super sweet of her. So, yeah. My parents got <laughs> me uh, two Amazon gift cards and a Jackie Chan DVD set. Ooh, nice. Ooh. And uh, I think one of those might have been for my sister. I think my sister was the Jackie Chan one, and I think mom and dad were the uh, were the gift cards. But uh, Reese got me a new jacket, so I'm getting a new leather jacket in hopefully before Magfest, but I doubt it. And uh, a book called A Good Girl's Guide to Murder, which apparently is like a really good murder mystery, because I've gotten back into reading, Ooh. and I'm into murder mysteries nice. again right now. I just finished Very uh, nice. I Only Read Murder, which is like this weird tongue-in-cheek <laughs> uh, murder story which is actually a really good read how long until you, know you start listening to the uh the uh the true uh, crime podcast true yeah there you go already on my way baby no i actually oh yeah dude I, I don't know which ones to listen to so erica I, likes those uh murder things too like the <laughs> those murder things like, like, she's like really into that kind of murder, like murder <laughs> too no, so if you're ever gonna like do docu- a murder like the documentaries up, now listen no 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 no. if i ever disappear you know who did it but like <laughs> <laughs> she watches a lot of the um like the the documentaries like uh, the women who kill and stuff like that and it's really cool has she, has she ever come to you with an elaborate pre- plan of how she hide your body no, she's she's she tells me, and it doesn't help. She tells me that I'm uh, worth much more to her alive than dead. Oh, that's that's true love kind, right there. That's it's a very true. kind statement, I will say. I will say. Uh, the, the, I just got to keep the eight bit drummer thing going, man. You know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, what well, was that life insurance policy is greater than your annual income? Yep, I got to keep it up, man. Freaking. <laughs> Chat, please give some so you know. <laughs> oh, you missed that note. I'm, I'm thinking it's, it's starting to get time, it's, to, put, time, it's time starting. to put old Yeller down. <laughs> oh my god! Man. I love this disco and late. This is the this is the sort of energy we needed for 2024. Heck we, for yeah. too long, we've talked about like stabbings happening. <laughs> like outside of us but now we're talking about the stabbing <laughs> happening uh, to us this is it this is what i we think needed. my brain is being stabbed right now actually <laughs> well, uh, well, I, i'm gonna backtrack here for christmas i got a um uh, uh, a cookbook of like stuff to bake a knife um, <laughs> <laughs> uh i got a um a uh, drop spreader for uh for my lawn because i need to because my god it's in need of some desperate weeding and um uh like this this like piece of chain mail uh that's used to clean uh cast iron uh, cast iron pans and then uh and what else they also sent me um so, uh my dad's a really good uh, a re- really good like cook and and uh and baker so he sent me um uh, a bunch of like uh cookies that um were my grandma's recipe and uh some fudgy made oh that's nice the fudge is really I, man- good that's uh that's the fastest way to my heart is like fudge? someone make someone, <laughs> fu- yeah fudge specifically yes but also just someone like making food dude oh yeah so can i can i tell you all about something that i was given at christmas time by my aunt that is going to make me gain 30 pounds um oh, knife. So, <laughs> no <laughs> um so all right you take um the little grid pretzels, okay? You take the little gridded pretzels, you put them down on a on a, a parchment sheet. You take a Rolo, like one yes. of the little, the, yeah, baby. You take a Rolo and you put that sucker on them, and then you put them in the. Uh, I can't remember for how long I have to ask her, but you put them in the oven for a little while, for like a couple minutes, and then you take the the second one, and then you squish them down, and they become little Rolo like Oreo cookie or whatever things with pretzel. That crap is phenomenal, dude. Oh my god. I have 
Oh. My mom has been making those for like a good decade or so, and I love it when she does. Those are I, very, very good. I'm a, I'm a little uh, I'm a little curious if if Jared never got to try those at Coliseum because those would always yeah. be like the first thing to go whenever Steven's mom would bring them over. I don't think I ever did. No. Oh, um, that's, a, that's a shame. Yeah, I I just never I like I tried them for the first time. We had a little bucket of them, like a little tiny bucket. And it was gone within like two days, man. <laughs> oh my god, my, that uh, was so good. My go-to snack these days is uh, graham crackers dipped in uh, in Nutella. It is so good. Like something about Nutella, like it's it's kept at room temperature, but something about like the flavor of it feels like warm, you know. I, you know, I was never, a, like, I like Nutella, but I was never, like, really into it, because it feels like some people, like, they grew up eating it or something all the time. Some people, I feel like some people, like, uh, like revolve their lives around Nutella. I so mean, a little bit. Isn't it, like, that's, like, a newer product, though, right? Nutella? I think it's been around no. for, let me see. Hold on. L look that crap up. Give me some Google. Yeah. Uh, Wikipedia. Nutella, its first iteration was in 1963, was introduced in 1964. What the frick? I had not heard about Nutella until I was like 25. Like, what the heck? Yeah, Nutella's been around for a while. Oh, it's what? also, it's uh, the way its ingredients uh, are changed depending on where it's manufactured. Uh, I guess it depends on... I'm sorry on... that it was kept from you. Uh, it's a very <laughs> cool thing. Well, no, it, 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 it like became trendy, I think. Like, uh, yeah, that's that, that would be the word for it. It's like, dude, it probably um, did become yeah. a little more well known. Yeah. And like, I remember um, it was like eating a hug. I, <laughs> I had a friend of mine try to tell me that Nutella was healthy. And I'm like, <laughs> no. Uh, and yeah, I was like, there ain't no freaking way. <laughs> but the thing is, is like uh, they whenever they were told about it, they were told like, oh, it's healthy or whatever, because it came like. They would get it packaged with, um, oh, what is it like, uh, carrot sticks and stuff like that. I'm like, listen, what you put on something doesn't, <laughs> it, it, whatever you like, like put it with, doesn't mean that it's healthy. Like, but they told me that, and I thought it was too. I actually, I don't think I've ever actually tried Nutella. I'm gonna have to make that happen. Damn, Maybe dude. I shouldn't. Maybe I shouldn't. <laughs> I, I, Maybe listen, I shouldn't. If, know. if you're afraid that like the uh, the the Rolo pretzels are going to make you fat, then this definitely will. <laughs> yeah, accurate. So we ran out of Rolo pretzels and we're not going to make our own. We're going to leave that for Christmas because holy frick, like you'd be rolling me onto the drum kit. It'd be nuts. <laughs> and the one and the two and the woo. Like, <laughs> one of my favorite Futurama bits is the one where they, uh, they use the what if machine to like see what would happen if Bender became human. Oh yeah, no, that's what I was referencing with the no, I grilled cheese. He's Ooh. just been wooing for the last thirty Ooh. minutes. <laughs> no, that was air escaping from the folds of his fat. Woo! <laughs> Man, I understand that reference. Hell yeah, dude! Yeah! Like <laughs> because I'm actively it. watching through Futurama. Oh wow. <laughs> Yeah. What what now season I'm are you trying on? Trying to decide. Like, listen, what, dude. Next next podcast, I'll have watched. Like, I'll 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 return the favor, Stephen. By next podcast, I'll have watched Dog Tooth. <laughs> sure, sure. <laughs> we can discuss. We can discuss that right on the show. <laughs> yeah, we're in. We're finishing up season five, which is before like the first big time jump in production. Mm. So. I'm 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 actually very curious to watch like the beginning of the time jump and see kind of how the show has evolved if at all between them. So, we'll find out. It's been an interesting watch so far. There's been some episodes that Mal and I haven't seen before, so it's nice to finally see them. All I, I remember about the Hulu Futurama is that there's one episode called Zap Brannigan gets canceled. <laughs> <laughs> Good. <laughs> Uh, I remember watching the first episode of that um, when it came out, whenever it came out like a long time ago, man, that was like such a hype night because it was just like I had never watched The Simpsons, but I've always kind of wanted to watch The Simpsons, but I've just never found time. But Futurama was just like freaking perfect for me. Yeah, great, great cast, too. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Cause like I, I wasn't really about like the um, the 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 home sitcom 
kind of like whenever yeah. I was younger. And that's what the Simpsons is. But freaking like uh, Futurama is about like, I don't know, technology and future yeah. stuff. But it's also freaking crazy. And I just I, it just completely vibed with me. <laughs> and uh, and, you know, writers who probably should be doing other things than writing a comedy show because of how smart <laughs> some of the jokes are. <laughs> Dude, they're really good. One of my favorites is the during the horse race. Uh, and it's like they're checking the electron microscope and it's number 13 in a quantum finish. No fair. <laughs> you change the outcome by observing it. <laughs> Dude, it's like they, they were just so good. The entire thing was good. Um, no, uh, didn't it go to like Comedy Central for a little while? Yep. Yep. Okay. That was the first revival, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. It, it, it got canceled. Then they had the like three or four uh, movies and uh -huh. then it got revived on. And then actually the last movie leads into the season premiere of when it was started on Comedy Central. Oh, OK. Yeah, my, my timeline's a bit fricked up. And now it's on Hulu. Yeah. Yep. And like <laughs> and the, the part of the problem with the Hulu one is that like people were just like, it ended so well with the Comedy Central one. Why did you have to bring it back? <laughs> Money. Money. I never heard anyone talk about the reboot reboot. I like, was it even decent? I haven't watched it. All I know is that one episode title. <laughs> I also know it had a big bit of a controversy because um, of uh, the pay they were offering the voice actors going into it. Oh, yeah, mm -hmm. the DiMaggio issue where he said he wasn't coming back, and then yeah. I guess they changed their mind. Hmm. Ugh. Anyway, I'll tell you more about it when I get through it. What's been more Disco and Lease from now? Well, what's, what's been your favorite episode so far? Oh, I, you, that's, that's difficult. <laughs> I, I, as On the whole, I'm surprised at how good the show is, mm. and I'm surprised at how good the show still is because it's it's still relevant and funny there are shows that just they're not that funny 20 years later and, and Futurama yep. still is it's still smart one of the interesting things is to see you know they're, they're kind of taking a little like some shots in the dark about what the future will be and it's kind of interesting to see like how <laughs> things turn what's out. already what's already happened exactly yeah. yeah um so that's kind of interesting uh, I think my, some of my favorite episodes are the one are the tearjerker episodes because it's so surprising how well they pull it off for oh, how funny the so, show is. Yeah, they hit so yeah. hard. Yeah, it's, it is. Like, it's genuinely impressive. Have you gotten um, to the one yet? The 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 dog. Yes. Yeah. 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 The dog is early on. Um, the dog is very good. Very very good. The Jurassic Park got, is probably my favorite episode. The one that got me that was very surprising was the brother one. Yeah, oh, the late, the late yeah. Fry. Yeah. With the with the seven leaf clover or whatever. Yeah. Oh, yeah. that's another good. That one. crap hit the. Yeah, because that one's that one's a because the dog one you're like this is gonna be sad. Like you start it and you're like this. Is gonna <laughs> I be do sad. know it's gonna be <laughs> the brother one. You do not, and it's a very like late episode gut punch. Mm -hmm. And like me and Mal were just crying on the couch, and I'm like, man, what a weird show that you know they can it can be so consistently funny, and then all of a sudden be like, hey, we can do a drama. Now you're yeah. upset. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Have fun. Yeah, I don't know yeah. if they did that in the Hulu ones, but in the, the, the you've got a few episodes like that to look forward to in the Comedy Central run. Yeah, I'm I've I've really enjoyed it, so I'm I'm looking forward to continuing to push through we don't we don't consume media at a, a very quick rate yeah yeah but eventually we like we get through it <laughs> what <the> is, <laughs> that, is that joe showing his ass on yeah so that King joe joe is known for showing his ass as his taunt and that's, that's the message says steven's reaction is seeing his all-time favorite character for the first time <laughs> <laughs> this is great. This is it's actually a, it's an image of Steven and Mal on the couch with between them is uh is that King of Fighters 98? Yep. It actually is 98. Yeah, King, of, King of Fighters 98 where uh Joe is showing his ass to presumably Benny Mo oh no to Yuri. Okay. Yep. I I think one of the the things I love about this image most and learning that Joe <laughs> just pulls his drawers down is that <laughs> as we've entered into this new year um, the catchphrase that I did not intend to create, but I have now created is happy new rear. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's what that raid message was. Uh... I was in the middle of singing a song and I tried to say happy, uh, happy new year. And it came out as happy new rear. 
And then I'm like, well, that's what we're going with. So um, 2024 is the year of Joe pulling his pants down. <laughs> Don't worry. So was 98 and 97 and 96 and probably 95 as well. Nothing nothing ever goes out of style. It just it just takes a while to come back. <laughs> Steven, some of the best things come out of your mouth when you're singing. I mm, well, I will never forget uh take scrape off take all out the dry. Wooden, yeah, take out your wooden teeth and scrape off all the dry is one of the funniest <laughs> things I heard last year. I just want you to know that. And then I, you I laughing and it. dying, like you perishing laughing, is one of my favorite things ever. It, <laughs> had, it is, had, it's genuinely fun to accidentally say a thing, and then you're like, oops, and you can't go back, and you've already <laughs> put it out there, and you're like, well, I the only thing I can do is laugh about this. And <laughs> when um when you had the Yoshi's Island one on for a while there, there was there was one that really got me where like I can't remember the full thing of it, but it. I think it was like a tribute to like to like firefighters or something like that. And you ended up with it being like, because even though we're doing great in here outside Lord of the Flies. <laughs> <laughs> this is why I don't have like a yo, I got an improv freaking alert on my screen because I am not nearly as good at improv. Like I can make like stupid sounds and crap, but man, to like actually make a coherent sentence to music is very hard for me sometimes. <laughs> Why is the name of the clip that's referencing Happy New Year called Me So Horny's Song 2? Listen, John. <laughs> Listen, John. Uh, you know what? Honest to God, if we if we follow that trail all the way back, that is Haley's fault. That has nothing to do with that. We have special <laughs> cooking alerts um, on Zelda streams where people can get a, a special recipe, like, as if it was made in Tears of the Kingdom. And they're all handcrafted by my friends. And one that we had on Friday put, like, miso and a a horn or whatever together, and then it reveals the title of the recipe, and it was, like, miso hornies. And I was like, God, Haley. And she's in chat, and she's like, oh, yeah, I did this one. This one's great. But then, of course, I had to sing about that, and that gets dangerous. That, like, <laughs> the, the stuff you guys come up with for your alerts is like is some of like the best stuff because like I, I i submitted a couple of those um of those uh food based ones but my god just like uh, incredible just incredible those those ones it's hmm. it's certainly a time <laughs> it's I'm, glad, I'm i'm glad that folks appreciate the songs i the the one person who doesn't appreciate them is the person who has to hear them the most. Mal. And that is Mallory. <laughs> yeah. Because, yeah. because I do that sort of nonsense off stream. And uh -huh. oh, no. bless her for having the patience of a saint with me. The, uh, what Mal I, oh, I remember what I, I remember what I, one of the ones I came up with that was, I really liked. It was like popcorn, like bread, cream cheese, and fish. And it was, I called it pop and locks. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, Mal and Eric are kindred spirits because like there are some days where I'm like, you know, just popping off and make because I'm about as crazy off stream as I am on. Um, <laughs> Can confirm. But yeah, it, it's Erica's just like, uh, yeah, it's time for you to go stream. <laughs> you, <know? Yeah. laughs> you got to go get rid of this energy. Have you ever seen, yeah, exactly. one, have you ever seen the there's like a tweet where where this guy is like, you know, man, I thought. My, uh, I thought my wife was just being like really supportive because I got home and she was like, "Hey, is there like a uh, like a basketball game or something on you want want to watch?" And he's like, "Oh yeah," so I sat down to watch it, and I realized she wasn't there. And I got up and I found her sleeping. She tried to occupy me so she could go nap. <laughs> <laughs> I do love that. Uh, uh. Sweeper well, says know. there were many times during 23 editing some of these song clips where the urge to drink alcohol was strong. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Who can say? Where the road goes. Oh my god, only time. <laughs> hmm. Shout outs to the migraines we give our mods. <laughs> I pray for Del Cake, man. <laughs> like <laughs> you when you started that off, I thought you were just gonna say, I pray for death. 
<laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> that's what the mods are saying, I mean, actually. Uh, that's mm. that is not what I was gonna say. But I I do I like I love my mod Del Cake man. Me me and him. Good lord, that man lives in my freaking brain, man. He knows what I'm about to say before I say it. It's kind of nuts. <laughs> what? I think you're just gonna say that man lives in my house. <laughs> what? Let me Tom, finish are you my okay? I'm gonna This is great. I love, I smell toast. I love this. I smell toast. <laughs> Oh my god! You gotta let me finish what I'm saying, my guy. Uh, <laughs> did you hear that? Oh, you're what? <laughs> oh my god, man! But yeah, he uh, he just does. He, I don't understand how he's able to like figure out what I'm trying to say before I say it. Sometimes, like especially when somebody's like asking a question in chat, he'll just answer it, and I'm like, yes, what he just said, what what Dell just said. <laughs> like, just look at what he said, because holy frick. I don't even understand. He could read my inputs. He's like, such <laughs> <laughs> That's just it, man. You got to like, one of my favorite sayings is mods are just trolls that you trust. And I agree with that. <laughs> yeah. I that's, agree with that's that. That's so, so accurate. Much. It's so it really accurate. Is. Uh. <laughs> I had a good. It's all I, going I downhill good, from here. I had a good 2023. <laughs> Um, I, I did this, this, I, I, I'm very excited about the new year. Um, but I, I had a very good 2023. It was pretty good. It was a bit rough at moments, but (laughs) rough and rough in moments is a really good way of putting it. Yeah. It was rough (laughs) in moments for sure. But I, I feel like the end of the year, um, like the end of the year really, really just started to lighten things. You know, mm. lighten things up, and like I feel like a lot of my my friends and close like uh, acquaintances have really gotten out of like the ruts that they were in, and there's just a lot more joy right now. And that y'all know me, y'all y'all know I want people to be happy, so it's just it, it it's a beautiful thing going into 2024. Um, just with you know, I, I hope that everybody else um is also feeling like a just a nice elation. And hey, it's a new year, you know. Let's make it let's make it a good one, you know. My my yep. stance is for better and for worse. I will never forget twenty twenty three. So that was a true statement. Yeah. So we'll we'll see how twenty twenty four goes. Twenty twenty four is going to be a year trademark. <laughs> it will be a year that exists. Uh, yeah. Twenty twenty three started like in a dip because I bought a house and like and like, <laughs> and it, it it like nightmare, absolute nightmare, just just like constant worrying and then like I, I had like a like a I had a breakdown when I locked myself out of my house but it's been improving it's been slowly improving but now I'm realizing that I have like a certain number of square feet that like I that that like I am completely responsible for hopefully only two two square feet that's yeah, pretty small I? yeah no <laughs> Jared, I got it. They also <laughs> you, you can't. Get, well, uh, listen, you can't run on two square feet alone. <laughs> that has never I'm stopped trying. Steve from Minecraft, and it never will. Yeah, hey, man. That's why he's I, I, top I, tier I, in Smash. Listen, I, I imagine that he's like. I, I imagine that he's like hoisted up by something. Like gravity has minimal effect on him until he jumps. Yeah, <laughs> dude. I've actually been playing a lot of Steve in Smash. He's so freaking fun. He's, I mean, like, yeah, he's very fun to play as. He's not fun to play against. No. Well, uh, my buddy, uh, my my buddy plays Jigglypuff, and he makes me angry. So I'm happy to play <laughs> whoever the frick I want. <clears throat> Technically, That's he nice. has cube feet. You know what? You're not wrong. The other thing with uh with uh Steve is that like he's got he's got tech. We're back on fighting games. He's got tech that uh <laughs> that um, uh. All right. So dreams. Uh. <laughs> Well, Steve, ah! Steve has uh, has tech that no other character does. Like, there's like something with him where like if he bounces off of like one of his own blocks or something, he could like immediately recover and go back into like doing moves, like or, or something along those lines. It's it's like that's part of the reason why he's banned. And also, like they never they like they're done with Smash updates, so they're just not going to fix that. They they are going to bring some uh, some spirits in soon though. That's yeah, inter- that's interesting. It's very interesting. Like the game's been like dormant for about two years, and they're bringing it more spirits i'm like okay it's i mean like very they, cool. they, i think they brought in a couple spirits even after sore was released yeah because the last spirit on the list is um evil, evil ryu, ryu. Yeah. yeah huh 
I've just been, uh, I've had game nights with friends like every Friday for the past couple months and they have been so good. I'm getting a lot better at fighting games now because of that. <clears throat> are they nerfed from like Bayo from Wii U to Ultimate? I, I, honestly, like, I guess it's because like the teams are working on other projects, but like, man, I wish they, they just like kept a couple people around to like do balance patches. Yeah. Because it was basically like but Sora. They've been one... working on it forever. Then at that point, though, that's the problem. True. Well, the fact, but, but, but wouldn't you hit like I? I guess so. But like, wouldn't you hit sort of like equilibrium? Like once the last character's out, and like once like not, some of the bugs are discovered. Not necessarily because like there's always some pair up you didn't think of. Because remember, Steve was in for like months before they found out how busted he was. Mm. Uh, <laughs> and keep in mind too, like the game's not really generating money anymore. Like that's true. It's one of the most bought games for the system, which means it's already probably at the tail end of its life. Yep. Uh, most people that were gonna buy the battle passes have already done it, so they've already got all their characters or fighter passes, whatever. So at that point, you're kind of just burning money maintaining it. Uh, yeah. So, yeah. so, so, what you're saying is, if I want a Smash Bros. game to have more longevity, I need to hope for scummy business practices and like <laughs> microtransactions. Yeah, <laughs> laughing for plus the minus, I guess. <laughs> um, they, God, what if they what if they put rollback in Smash? That would have been a thing. I don't think. How would that work? Probably. I mean, probably just about as well as like any other fighting game. Honestly, like, cause there's, uh, cause what is it in, um, there's a, a, a melee mod called Slippy that, uh, gives a uh, mm -hmm. rollback net code. Yeah. God. I mean, the, the, the main problem with that game was it's online. Like I couldn't play it online with people. It was just so laggy. Oh, oh man. You know what? Someone in chat makes a good point. Even if it did have the microtransactions and scummy business practices, it's not guaranteed to, uh, to get updates. Cries yeah. in TF2. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Accurate. <clears throat> Oh, there, you know, they'll just release Smash Brothers onto Switch 2, and they'll have all of the same characters it has now, and everything will be the same. <laughs> except ultimate. Ultimate, uh. they'll add one guy. <laughs> just, I, I, just one? Yeah, yeah they'll add like... Joe. From I would be <laughs> Thank God, finally! <laughs> I can use and my Joe spirit with my Joe him. fighter. The I would be... Will be him with his pants down. <laughs> yeah, it's just Super Smash Bros. Joe only. No, but I, I would be happy if they if they like I would be happy to give up my main if they if they expanded on the features of Smash Bros. Like uh, because because the the stage builder like you know I, I there was like like I put out like forty episodes of uh, of custom Smash. I could have done so much more if I just had a little bit more. <coughs> yeah, just the tools to be able to do it. Yeah, like th there was so much in like in like World of Light, like the spirits mm -hmm. are good for a step, but the fact that that a lot of the modifiers that are on spirits are temporary, and on top mm -hmm. of that, you have to unlock the modifiers, and not everyone's gonna have them. So like, there were so many game ideas that I had that I just couldn't do because like I didn't want to have to like pressure people into like being like, hey, you need this four star spirit you can only get through the story mode that's like ninety percent of the way in. Hmm. It's kind of like I mean, uh, Mario we Maker. Did some of that. <laughs> Right, but like, but it wasn't. <laughs> but it was never like to that extent. Like, I, uh, I, like, maybe like ten percent of the way through the game, at, uh, the the story mode at worst. Because like, I remember like the um the the uh, what is it, Ram Race with the bullet bill. Like that one is that that one's like super easy to get like right off the cup. I I cusp. I guess there there were other spirits, but I can't remember exactly where they were in the story. I like. I was wishing for um more stuff for Mario Maker too. Yeah, as well. yeah, because like I, anything. I freaking loved. Yeah, I love Mario Maker too, and it's basically infinite. But like, people kind of fall off um, on the game because of that, and it's just like, man, it sucks. I, I want more Mario Maker stuff. I I can't wait. Like, I really hope that they do a Mario Maker three for the next console because I think they're only going to do one per console that they do. Yeah, like, I mean that, that's the same way with a lot of their games. Honestly, what what in the world are they going to do for the next console though? Like, It'll, just like it should like, just be a think? stronger switch. That's all it yeah, needs to be. Yeah, that's what that's what I'm hoping for. But like, yeah, I, I, I but like generally, like Nintendo consistently tries to innovate. Yeah, because because like their their consoles, aside <coughs> from like maybe like going from like the NES to like the GameCube, were generally generally along those lines were were just like a more powerful console. Like you know, 
And, you know, mm-hmm. you had to jump from 2D to 3D. But they had, like, the Wii and the Wii U and the Switch. And if they try to, like, innovate more on that, then, like, 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 like if, they, if they try to, like, be like, all right, we did the Switch, we had a good run, let's go and try to, uh, let's go and try to, like, do something else completely and, like, completely go back on that. If they if they do come mm-hmm. out with, like, a, with like a, just a more powerful Switch, I'd be, you know, it'd be great. Back, like, it, like yeah. It, yeah, like, that that would be great. Like, the Switch was was mad successful. I guess they like, technically tried to do that with the Wii U because they tried to capitalize on the name, but marketed it horribly. They marketed it this, terribly. Everyone thought it was an add-on. Yeah. At least the casual people did. Yeah. The Switch was like lightning in a bottle. Like it is it, – it, um, it basically allows you to do both, like in-home and on-the-go gaming. And that yep. is just like the smartest thing they could have possibly have done. And they had to wait until they had like USB-C uh, functionality in order to make that happen because – the the like the bus reads uh, or the bus speeds for older USB stuff just wasn't powerful enough to like put through HDMI or um, like anything really. So like it's going to be very interesting to see what direction they go with this next console because if they go back on hey we're just doing a home console again, th- there's no way they would do that. They're, yeah. Like they have they have proven that the Switch is the exact thing because and the, and like of course. You have um, PS5 trying to do their mobile thing doesn't really work too well, <laughs> which which only works in yeah. like on the same network. God. Exactly, that is so silly. Like it doesn't make any sense, right? Because I just feel like Nintendo has the right idea, and if they're able to freaking just extrapolate on it a little bit more, make it more powerful, it's gonna just be the craziest thing ever. And then you had a uh, Steam with the Steam Deck because you could you could plug that into yeah. a, uh, into a dock as well and play it on a TV. The Steam Deck is God tier, and and like, and that's the coolest thing about the Steam Deck is basically like, it's a, it's a more powerful Switch with extra games. You know what I'm saying? Um, like the entire like, Steam library and potentially yeah, more, depending on what you do with it. Exactly. I mean, it's an emulation machine. You can like, um, I've seen people moderate Twitch cast with it. It's a computer. It's a literal computer in the palm of your hand. It's nuts. I mean, just like a phone, but you know what I'm trying to say. Yeah. And I'm just I'm excited to see what type of innovation they come with because now they just can't make a better steam deck you know or uh yeah they they can't just be like oh well we're just gonna make it a little bit more powerful nintendo's gonna nintendo and do something strange you know so they kind of already did with even with the switch because it's got that ir sensor on the bottom i can only think of three games that use it yeah like there's a lot that they put into it which is not being utilized and i'm like i'm very very curious to see what they do um next like the next generation, I guess you would say. How long has the Switch been out for exactly? It came out in March of 2017. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. So yeah. It's approaching seven years. That's nuts. <coughs> that... Hmm. What was so the, likely what was we're the... going to hear something this year. That would be. I'm I'm looking forward to it because like God. I have the original Switch and mine doesn't. My my network doesn't work on it anymore. <laughs> like the ad hoc doesn't work. Um, it works like on the internet but i can't like go back and forth between two switch systems um so yeah and i'm not upgrading just for them to be like hey guess what <laughs> switch to <two>, lol <laughs> enjoy <laughs> switch pro now with a charge port that's not on the bottom god i wish it makes us it, it does make sense for the dock though it does make sense for the dock it for does it to be yeah. directly in the bottom because like that's what Oh, the, the, <laughs> you can't say the same thing about that one Apple mouse. <laughs> I mean, yeah, no. <laughs> oh, um, mighty mouse, you are not so mighty. <laughs> um, like I, I do like how the uh, Steam Deck has the little thing on the top, and it has the adapter on the the dock to where it like folds up into it. I think that's really cute, but it's it's just like. God, the design of the Switch, like being a tech nerd like I am, I freaking love that crap. Like I love design just overall rather than just the tech. And just thinking about like all the thought that went into that, I'm just like, oh my God, man, that's it's just genius. You know, I do wish that um, some of the uh, uh, hardware was a little bit more robust, though. Like we're, we are long gone from the days of the freaking Game Boy. Let me tell you. That yeah, crap is made Switch, of iron. Switch is... Uh... Not very strong. <laughs> no, it is. I, I, I couldn't really like place it on like a scale of like uh, of consoles, but like I mean, it's definitely stronger than the than the Wii U in a sense. But like hmm. they had to sacrifice a lot to make it portable. They really did. 
Um, and they were like the first to do it right though, you know? Yeah. So like, I'm sure they're going to take this and make it even better. Like that's, that's one thing that I can kind of like expect from Nintendo is <coughs> for them to make a, like, I don't really know how to explain it. Like I could just kind of, I don't trust corporations with anything, but, um, the minds at Nintendo are really, really sharp and yeah. I think they're going to do a great job. Yeah. They like to innovate. That's, that's uh, what I was looking for. <laughs> something I've kind of noticed just from the general landscape of like how like Nintendo develops games is that it seems like they take their time on like pretty much all of their projects except for their cash cow Pokemon. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because Pokemon, because Nintendo has, has like a big share in the Pokemon company and it, uh, and like, it generates so much from things outside the video games. Yeah. Like the, uh, you know, merchandise, the trading card game, the, the, um, uh, the anime, just like, just so much that like, but it, but the, the thing is, is that a lot of it is driven by the video games as well. So like mm -hmm. making the games weak kind of like, but so making like weak games doesn't really, I don't know if it would affect it or not. Cause like, you know, again, Pokemon is so much more than just the games now that like, all you need to do is just like make a game, add the Pokemon and then like adapt them into cards in anime. And if like the game doesn't do well, then, oh, well, at least we got the other stuff. Yeah. Like it, there's only one word for me for that. And it's baffling. I just don't understand. Apparently like, from, <coughs> I did see a, an article where they were going to look internally to try to like, you know, fix that problem so they don't have another release like scarlet and violet because mm. like i mean uh i really i enjoyed scarlet and scarlet and violet a lot i really oh, yeah. did the the game does not run well but no. this but the, the like it actually had a decent story like let me tell you freaking well i don't you know spoilers or whatever but um i'm sure a lot of people have played it hopefully everybody's played it here completely um but like the um just the arvin storyline yeah so good it's so good, <laughs> you know, it, it, oh, it's so freaking good. But yeah, they just need more time to cook, man. Yep. Or or a bigger development team. Yeah. 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 The writing in the DLC, I've heard is very good, too. Like, frick. Yeah, I've heard really good things. And the music in the DLC is great, too, because it's freaking um, uh, Gen 5. It's like remixes. Of oh, Gen yeah. 5 yeah. Music. No, like they, they, the, the Unova love is like huge in, in yeah. the indigo, indigo disc mm -hmm. but yeah the, i don't want to i don't want to talk too much about like story stuff i've actually not played the dlc mm -hmm. but um yeah i don't want to go too much in the story stuff but yeah it's good i will i will say it's pro like if you haven't played the uh, the dlc it's probably better that you waited because the first dlc is kind of lacking without the second dlc mm. that is fair yeah i'm probably not gonna pick up the DLCs um, anytime soon, but the music has been phenomenal because <laughs> mm. I, I get suggested it all the time and it's just, oh, it's very good. I would, I would also be okay if they made, if like, if they made a gen five remake, if it was in the style of let's go. Yeah. I really I, liked let's go. <laughs> me too. Like it was like, like I'm I not think... a Pokemon person and Let's Go is very familiar to me because of nostalgia, but also the way that it is set up yeah. makes a lot of sense to me. I'm like, like mm, Pokemon games should be this. <laughs> I feel I feel like um, Let's Go is one of the best ways to experience the first gen, in my mm. personal opinion. Yep. Just just because of how easy it is comparatively, and if you're just wanting like the, a fun story and going by, dude. Whenever freaking Lorelei shows up, and it's just like a a boss queen i'm just like oh my god this is great <laughs> this is what i this is how i felt whenever i used to play the game like this is how like i like it's just cool like it works really well the other reason that let's go is a good intro into into like pokemon in general is good luck finding a copy of the the game boy versions of red blue yellow fire red or leaf green mm. yeah you can yeah. especially <laughs> fire, especially, <laughs> especially fire red and leaf green yeah, you're gonna have some. You're gonna have to put out a second mortgage. <laughs> I, oh, for, for that shot, for that like that ribbon master thing, I uh, I bought uh, a copy of Emerald, two hundred bucks. Mm. 
Yeah, I I was getting the box versions of those when the prices were starting to go up, and now it's like, oh, it's even worse now. Good lord, <laughs> yep. glad I got them when I did. Uh huh. I found my childhood copy of Pokemon Blue. The battery inside of it had exploded and rusted it off of the actual like game. So like the game wow. is kind of like corrosion right now. So I think the cartridge is useless. Oh, I want to see sucks. if I can actually fix it. I think there's got to be a way to fix it. Uh, to fix the cartridge? I'm not entirely sure. I get, it's like, going to require... The... There's like a baking soda powder you can make, which will remove acid, mm -hmm. at least like battery mm -hmm. acid damage. But the problem is like, I got, I'm going to have to learn how to solder. So I have to solder the battery on and then yeah. it works then. So it might be salvageable, but it's otherwise a destroyed cartridge. It'll be a fun project to learn that though. Yeah. Like, honestly, I, I love the tinkering aspect of it. I might look into the same, because again, like with Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald, uh, they time was kept on batteries. So, mm -hmm. uh, so, and when those expire, there's a lot of in-game events you just can't do anymore. You can replace the battery if they haven't, well, exploded. <laughs> yeah, but <laughs> like, yeah, like with, with, uh, with, with those, you do need, with the Game Boy Advance ones in particular, you do need to know how to solder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, man. It's crazy that they lasted for like 15 years, though, like overall, you know, I wonder like if any of my I wonder if any of my games still like their save batteries still work. I actually don't have any of my old Game, games. Game Boy ones die out first. So, yeah, I I've think if, if, if any of them, if any of them were surviving, I think those <laughs> would be the ones to to survive, though, because I think my Pokemon either red and blue still work. Mm. I had a lot of um, Game Boy Color games die. Well, like years and years and years before Game Boy stuff died. And I don't know why. Hmm. But I, ha I had multiple instances of that where, like, the the games that were, like, the clear carts that were like, this only works in the Game Boy Color. Like, those... Yeah. I don't know why those died first. I imagine because it would, like... I imagine it because it would take more power to uh, keep the save on there, I guess. Like, that's the only reason I could think of. I have no with, idea. With Pokemon <laughs> Gold and Silver, I can imagine, because, like, you know, it's not just keeping the save, but, like, Pokemon Gold and Silver also had to keep track of time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And Crystal, to a lesser extent. I mean, to a, the same extent, rather. Yeah, every, every video game is slowly hurtling towards its inevitable demise. And yep. that <laughs> makes me, as a game collector, feel very safe and secure with my chosen profession. <laughs> Good. My investments! Pretty much. Part of me is like, you should, you should get out. <laughs> you should just get out. Sell it all. Keep, eh. the ones you, keep the ones you like. Yeah. Well, that's the problem, Tom. I like them all. I like them all, yeah. <laughs> That's why um, I, I'm actually, as, as <laughs> I'm, sure know, that, I'm sure there's a few that you could angrily throw out into a bin of sell this Mario Party 3 for one. <laughs> I was actually talking about that on, uh, well, uh, collecting stuff on cast earlier today. The um, the new uh, Scarlet and Violet 151, um, the car Pokemon card set, the the box that it's in is just tempting me to buy it because of the fact that it's really, really nice. <laughs> Has a Mew on the front. It's freaking nice white and gold like inlays. It looks super fancy, but I know I'm not going to get the card I want. I know I'm not going to get it. So why the frick? I don't want to spend $119 on the box <laughs> on because the box. of that. Yeah. I'm just like, man, it, every time I see it, whenever I go into a Best Buy or a GameStop, I'm just like... You know, <laughs> dang it, dude. Well, well, well th think about it this way, Jared. You could you could either buy three three to five <laughs> uh, booster boxes, or you could buy a theremin. I could buy uh, what is it? I could buy two to three Honeycrisp apples, according to my cast. <laughs> dude, I got <laughs> I had <laughs> I had somebody in my cast the other day. It was super funny. Um, I, I was telling them that like, yeah, whenever I come over to the house, um, like whenever I'm driving, I'll usually eat an apple. And they're like, oh, what type? And they're like, Honeycrisp. Ah, and they were like, oh, yeah, that streamer money is really uh, hidden if you if you <laughs> eat Honeycrisp. I'm like, what does that even mean? Like, what? And they're like, Honeycrisp apples are more expensive. And I'm like, streamer money? What? What the frick are you talking about? Like. <laughs> And even, I, even, they, like, even if they are expensive, they're like they're at most like 50 cents per pound more expensive. 
Yeah. So yeah, but that was the thing. Like they were like they were giving me crap because of the fact that I was buying Honeycrisp. They're like, yo, that streamer money is hitting hard, isn't it? I'm like, what? And luckily, uh, to answer a question in the chat, luckily, um, I was not allergic to apples. I was allergic to um, something else that I was taking um, while I was eating the apples. It was a um, it was a medication. So. Uh, cor uh, correlation does not equal causation. But the cool thing is, is now that I know that I'm not, I've been eating them like every day because I love apples, man. But like Honeycrisp are my favorite and apparently they're a bit more expensive. So I was getting, I was getting crap for freaking eating Honeycrisp apples, man. <laughs> okay. I, I, go I Googled, uh, are Honeycrisp apples more expensive? And something I, that came up is that like, they could be as high as three ninety nine per pound, but it's frequent to, uh, it's frequent to see them on sale for two forty nine to, uh, to, or one ninety nine a pound. I mean, Listen. I can just tell you about the apple market because <laughs> <laughs> like when we go to the store to buy apples, like, yeah, Honeycrisp are like the most expensive apple. <laughs> they are, but man, they're the best in my opinion. So yeah, I'm just like, frig it. They are good. That's that's the apple. When Mao and I were dating, um, I was aware of the existence of like a small handful of apples. And I was like, no, no, no. There are many apples. She's like, my favorite is the Honeycrisp, but it is the forbidden apple because it is so expensive. <laughs> and I was like, well, guess what, baby? We're going to buy us a Honeycrisp apple. Just one. <laughs> we can share it. We're not going to go crazy. <laughs> We're in college and we don't have any money. I, but I we, can't. But we I, had one and it was very good. I can't believe y'all managed to find the very apples that got Adam and Eve kicked out of the Garden of Eden. <laughs> Because yeah, like it's... the 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 thing about Honeycrisp is that they were they were kind of like uh, they weren't really like crossbred to become anything different. They're like what original apples kind of are, I guess. That's why they're a bit more expensive, I think. Um, but I don't like. So here's the thing about apples: most apples are too big. All right, because like you you, you pick up an apple, and you're like, oh man, I, I'm gonna eat this, I'm gonna have fun. And like if you get one of the big ones. You're sitting there like halfway through this thing and you're like, oh, God, you know, like I have another half of this Man, apple to eat. Yeah. I don't know, <laughs> I don't know if worst... I've ever heard a, an opinion I didn't agree with as strongly as what you just said. But I'm like, <laughs> there has never in my life been a time where I've been like, this apple's too big. I have, in fact, thought this apple is too damn small. And now I have to eat three apples to make it up because I wanted a big apple. So everyone is different. <laughs> I mean, like the worst, part about, the, different. the worst part about those big apples is that you can't fit the entire thing in your mouth. Well, um, well what? First off. That's not how you yourself. eat apples. <laughs> you, guys, you, guys don't, you guys don't unhinge your jaw like a boa constrictor and, and uh, just shove the whole thing in there? No, but I will say, Stephen, you are, you are a tall individual. You are a... A, a bigger individual than I am. So I can understand you wanting a larger apple size. Me, not really. I am like, I just want a quick snack and I'm done. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I've always found like anything that's a bit bigger than like a, a smaller apple. I'm just like, Oh God, <laughs> you know, I don't know. Give, I've, give I'm weird. The big ones. Yeah. You can have them. They're all yours. I will, I will take my honey crisp and get on out. You don't agree with Jared at all? Listen, that's why it's called an opinion. <laughs> <laughs> so is that your favorite apple then, Honeycrisp? Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Right. Spartan for me. I feel like I'm I've in never... the minority because I like Red Delicious. What are Spartan apples? Spartan apples, they're they're like smaller but not too small. Fairly sweet. Mm. Try to they're take over of... Greece. Yeah. Usually. <laughs> uh, I, usually, I usually get those in Macintosh, so they're both fairly similar. One of them's name is Master Chief. Master <laughs> Chief apples. Red Delicious or are... Red Delicious are all right. I, I like the. I used to like Pink Lady. Um, I feel like this. Like uh, so, I see someone say Red Delicious tastes like chalk, and it's like I don't <laughs> like. But like I, I you you line like five apples up in front of me, and I, maybe I'll be able to tell like subtle differences between them. But if I just have Red Delicious and I take a bite into it, I'm like, this is an apple. I'm not like. Like I don't have the palate to be like, oh, the 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 texture of the grain is too much for me. <laughs> I wish that I wasn't as picky as I am as a human being whenever it comes to food. I wish, man. But 
That's just who I am. I can't just help it. You, you just got to doll it up. So don't say that you're you're picky. Say that that it doesn't agree with your palate. Uh, yes, I I am a, I have a very sophisticated palate. Yes, mm -hmm. that is it. Um, so anybody like Granny Smith, the green ones? Yes. Acquired taste. I'll have them every now and then. I I like them for cooking. Like if you're if you're making like um. Like, a pie. like anything with apples in it, yeah, like a pie or like a um, an apple pork or something like that. Like that crap is awesome for that. Oh, but pork with apples is so good. It is, dude. You freaking get some um, some like walnuts as well. Like um, like either walnuts or candied walnuts. Freaking put it on top of that crap. Oh my god, that's like something that Erica makes in the fall, and it's like the best thing. That sounds like the ultimate autumn dish. It is good. <laughs> And of course, at least one person had to say it. But what about what, pears with pork? Yeah, what about pears mm. and pork? Uh, I think it'd be every, too sweet. Everybody Compar likes pears. Just comparative to uh, don't don't touch the blender. Just don't. Yeah. Oh, I will wait. never forget. I will never forget. Hang, hang on, but guys, Big Brother's watching. <laughs> Hi, I'll Big Brother. That, <laughs> that was a good moment, man. On TRG last year, the freaking yeah. Big Brother is watching. Uh, <laughs> I love that it took so long for it. To... It's my fault. We just... I'm sorry. <laughs> we were waiting. Do not so apologize. Long. It's so good. <laughs> it was. It was incredible. MC's like, oh shit, I was supposed to end the segment. <laughs> <laughs> that made it so much funnier. <laughs> Dan, Dan, like making the different like noises while waiting for it to go, it's was just, like, like so I'm, good. Dan looks so uncomfortable during it too. He's like, ugh. <laughs> <laughs> Sam uh, couldn't I, keep a straight face during that. That was funny. I asserted my dominance. I didn't break freaking eye contact. I don't think I blinked. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I don't remember this moment like until I rewatched it like later. But it, there was the one bit where I took like a hundred sprays to the face, and Steven walked up, and somebody turned me to look at him. <laughs> Oh, man. I'm looking forward to the next Coliseum. It's going to be fun. Yeah. Just, ha just happy to be involved. <laughs> just happy to look disgusted. Just happy, <laughs> just happy to be there. Just happy. There's a there's a picture that I hate, and it's the one where I'm getting sprayed in the face and Jules is trying to slay my ear with his tongue. <laughs> I do not like that picture. I do not like that picture, but it's there. It's all, It's out there. <laughs> <coughs> uh. Take it, bud. All right. Well, I think that may be the sign. We should start to wrap up. Yeah. <laughs> Jules's tongue is the sign. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, that's it. That usually Jules's tongue or anything with Jules is usually the sign. We should start wrapping up. Well, time to hit the old dusty trail. Dusty trail. I, I do, uh, <laughs> Coliseum specifics of before we wrap up, just like. Huge shout out to Steven for the, the chaos that was the disc only segment. Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> sure. you, you said, <laughs> well, because well, people were like, well, you, you set the incentive for, uh, you set the incentive for the, the intro to play again too low. And you're like, no, I didn't. And he was right. Yeah. He I, was I so knew, right. I know what I'm about. Um, I don't know many things, but I chaos. do know what I'm about. You know Joe, so. King of Fighters, your favorite video game, and you know <laughs> yep. what you're about. Yeah, those two things. And fine dining. And that's it. <laughs> and not breathing. Mad, breathing. I said three things. No, I, 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 I do not know about breathing, and that's been a constant problem. <laughs> <laughs> What's your name? And who do you go after? You go after Jared, right? God, the other day, this sorry, there's a quick anecdote. I was it New Year's Eve. It was New Year's Eve. Dan was like, "What'd you do today, buddy?" And I was like, "I don't remember." And he's like, "You don't remember?" And I was like, "No." He's like, "Well, what did you when when you woke up?" And I was I was like, "Dan, I was like, I don't have amnesia right now. I just can't remember what happened today." He's like, "Oh, okay." It's <laughs> like, "Thank you for your concern." <laughs> Well, well, Steven, we got Dan behind this curtain here to tell his side of the story. Dan, come on out. Kill him, Dan! 
That seemed like a pretty accurate oh, yeah. retelling of the event. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, our topic. I, mean, like Dan, I mean, Dan made a few sounds and then didn't say anything. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't sure if he was going to say something. God. He's unmuted. Steven was right. Was okay. Yeah. I mean, I appreciate the concern. <laughs> I appreciate the concern. Um, you're, ru you're ruining my opportunity to turn this show into Maury Povich. In, a, in, a, in, another, <laughs> in another time... I I I will have amnesia, and you will be right. So, you know, be on the lookout. <coughs> Hang on, I ended up getting a bunch of extra pictures. Stall while we look at this, the wizard being the fifth moist boy. The moist boy. <laughs> it's oh. it's what it is. It's uh, it's someone spraying visit the wizard with a spray bottle, and him looking. Really upset about it, actually. That that yeah, is very, like the perfect very face. Moist. And then this is oops, nope, 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 nope. Ultimate <laughs> apples list. Yeah, Whoa! let's go. Yeah. <laughs> that face. He tried to click on this picture and ended up getting an apple list instead. Oh I man, I do love this face. This is like the face of surprise and disgust. That's an as a Venn diagram that is a perfect circle. There you go. <laughs> That is an emote if I've ever seen one of my. The life. center of it is Tom getting sprayed. That is that is. <laughs> what what is your um what is your uh, emote listing George? So it's like George disgust. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. George what? We need George disgust. Well, you know what? I if we could we could pair that. I can get like I can get like Tom moist. As an emote, <laughs> we can pair Tom Moist and George Disgust. I hate this. Yes. I hate this so yes. much. Yes, Tom Moist and uh, George. Ugh. <laughs> yeah, George. Ugh. <laughs> uh. <laughs> gonna update the talking points. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, let me just oh, for... Go ahead. There we go. Perfect. Perfect. Excuse, All right. Excuse stretch. Me. Stretch. <laughs> All right. Our talking points for this episode of Disc Only. Voices only. <laughs> Who told you I had fingers? There, man. King of BS. P is stored in the nut. My turn why? to talk. Why that voice for that one? I don't know why, because I think, because otherwise, when I think nut, I think nut, or I think. <laughs> or I think it's like a, <laughs> man, I've been on the internet too long, Jared. I can't help it. That's just a lot. I don't. I don't. Okay. That was great. I was going to say that. I can think of that voice. I think nut. <laughs> we need to wrap up man I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna freaking like start coughing I was gonna say it's uh, the damn PSP commercial but then yeah no I'm saying nut uh, now you can play nut outside what <laughs> oh, a reference Steven gets I love that <laughs> <laughs> that was the talking <laughs> point 25% of the show I get to follow. And I'm like, all right, <laughs> strap it in. Every, every, every damn disc only. I sit here and I'm like, what the hell are we talking about? <laughs> what, like, I'm just trying to follow along the best that I can. I'm going to start getting really good at, like, crocheting because I'm like, I don't know what they're going on again. This is another fighting game. You just got to start playing fighting games. That's, that's it. Yeah, that's yeah. Okay, that's, that's it. He'll I'll he'll do. pick it up right away. He'll be great, bro. That right there is a segment. We, we I teach will. Stephen fighting games at freaking TRG Coliseum. Oh my I god, wait. bro! I will sit. I will teach you how to Potemkin Buster somebody and strive. And that'll be a phenomenal segment, dude. The uh, we like every every fighting game. Every person we know within like our group there who knows fighting games, and then like the donation incentive is like switch the game and coach. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> That's a great idea. Streamer zoomies. Switch it up. The Apple Market. <laughs> and George. <ugh. laughs> it's good. Tom, what you got going on? 
Uh, this month's going to be a little light because I'm going to be traveling for two weeks of January, visiting family and then going to, uh, to MAGFest. Uh, if you are attending MAGFest, I will be there. I'm pretty sure John will be there. Jared, are you going? Yep. I, I will not be going this year. No. Okay. Mm -hmm. Just me so, and Tom. Yeah. We're the only two going. Yep. No one else. Yeah. yeah I'll keep, I'll keep two, the, uh, the stream. The I'll keep the stream give, stuff give, warm. Given like the division of like of our pictures and like the names of like disc only, we would just be like disc. So we're leaving out only. <laughs> disc is there. Disc pod. Yeah. If it was disc you and Jared, if it was just you and if it was just you and Jared, it'd be Dilly. If it was just you and Steven, it'd be Dion. <laughs> if it was just me and Steven, it'd be Scon. <laughs> me, me and Steven is the only cast. There you yeah. go. Disc pod and only cast. Uh, but no, I'm still I'm still trying to catch that uh, that wily shiny uh, shiny Quagsire in Pokemon Coliseum, so that's gonna be odd. I've just been doing a lot of multiplayer stuff recently. Uh, Among Us, Lethal Company, I'm trying to get together a group for uh, for a short game of Dokapon. Um and I also got to start re recording more um, Mario and Rabbids, uh, uh, whatever that game is called. Uh, the new one, the Sparks of Hope. I gotta, I gotta get back to that one. Yes, short. I mean, because you could set the game, uh, you could set <laughs> the, the game in Dokapon by weeks, so it's only gonna be like a fifteen week game with like four people, which will be about around like three hours. Uh, do I got anything else going on? Oh, uh, and look forward to a new outfit for the VTuber, probably this month or next month. Nice. Uh, let's see. Um, we continue to push our way through, uh, Zelda Tears of the Kingdom every Friday. We are, um, I don't know, that's, we got another, like, nine months on that, so tune in to watch us scream. And um, then when you're done, the baby comes. <laughs> that's what we're waiting on. Um, that sounded like a big threat. Thing, Congratulations, uh, it's a Zelda. The, the big thing is that we just finished, um... We just finished a series, because we also play games on Tuesday afternoons, and we're going to be starting a new series uh, a week from now, next Tuesday, and that is Moon. Uh, Moon is the the PS1 RPG by Love Delic, and hmm. uh, it got localized a few years back, and it's on Switch. Mao has played through it several times now, has created a guide, and is going to guide me through the game like she did when we played Chulip. Uh, oh, coincidentally, I... Love Delic is also uh, a, a developer that eventually went on to become partially Punchline, which developed Tulip. So has a lot of similar themes and similar feels. So I'm very much looking forward to trying Moon next week. Now Can't wait for you to kiss the Moon. Eastern. <laughs> yes. Yes. It, I, I am going to try to be at every one of those streams. I love your guys' Tulip Let's Play. Yeah, it's... I mean, I haven't played Moon, so this is very exciting for me, but Mal's like, yeah, this game is basically early Tulip, and I'm like, cool. Cool. Very much looking forward to which, the which to me means tulip with more jank. Well, I, yeah. I asked her. I said, I said, I'm sure you need a guide, and she said, Yeah. I said, Which one is is easier to get through, moon or tulip? And she said, Tulip. And I was like, Really? Ooh. Yeah. She's like, Ooh, yes. I'm excited. Yeah. She's like, we, She's like, We absolutely have to have a guide. She's like, It is ridiculous. And I was like, All right, cool. She was, in. she was uh, telling me about it when she was playing through. I'm like, oh, oh, those are some weird mechanics. Oh, yeah. So I'm super pumped. But I've always, I've always been interested in playing Moon because um, I've known about it for a long time. It was talked about on like, you know, the Earthbound forums, and uh, it's nice to finally <laughs> Pro be able probably to do by it. Mal. <laughs> Mal. Mal was a little interested in it. Yeah, I'm glad that we finally get to try it. Oh, uh, uh, yes. Um, <clears throat> uh, drumming. Yay. Monday, Tuesday, Friday, Saturday on both Twitch and YouTube at 430 Eastern um, for throughout this whole month. I will not be going to MAGFest. Uh, sadly, I wasn't able to get like a decent hotel, but that's OK. Uh, I am going to stay home and uh, stream and keep the stream warm. So everybody come hang out. <laughs> uh, also. Over on YouTube, um, there has been a little bit of a revamp uh, on the video content and sp specifically uh, in the form of the thumbnails and uh, the different times that I am releasing videos. So instead of two, it's at 12 o'clock Eastern now. So it's a little bit earlier for everybody. And um, I hope that everybody has been enjoying the new thumbnail style because I put a lot of work into it and I've been very, very 
uh, happy with how it's gone so far. I've had some videos actually pop the frick off because of it. So thank y'all, everybody, for uh, watching. If y'all have clicked on the new thumbnails, I appreciate that a lot because they've uh, they've actually been working very well comparatively to my older stuff. So uh, thank you, everybody. All right, like Tom's doing, I'm going to MAGFest. That'll be two weeks from now. We'll be running Throne Controllers Woo! on Saturday at noon. It will be streamed as well. I don't know what the actual channel is. It's probably MAGFest 1. It, that's usually mm. what it is. Something like that. MAGFest panels 1, whatever. I'll be watching. Stay tuned for that. Uh, otherwise, you know, usual schedule, Monday, Wednesday, Saturday. Uh, this week we're doing Power Trip tomorrow, so if you win a raffle, you get to pick the next game we play on stream. Uh, Saturday's Fortune Cookie. The usual deal, chat votes on what we play next, and uh, we're back to doing game clearing this year, so I think we're going to do, I'm probably going to start a new game for game clearing on Monday. Don't know what, but uh, I'll figure it out, so ask my stuff. Dan, what you got going on? Um, Twitch.tv slash Motion Dan, um, I think I'm going to start streaming some Baldur's Gate, because I just got it. Frick um, yeah! Nice. It's uh yeah, I'm very excited. I'm kind of I'm kind of nervous to get into it cuz I don't know. It's a lot, but I know D&D, so I don't know. But yeah. All right. So, are we actually doing it the first Tuesday of the month again? Are we going to be meeting up February 6th? I have no reason not to. Yeah, I'm good. Should be. February 6th. Yeah, it's fine. All right. Uh, so we'll see you guys again Tuesday, February 6th, then for the next episode of Disco Only. We'll tell all our tales about how MAGFest went, and I'm sure they'll all be exciting. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Real yeah. enthusiasm. Really exciting, according to Tom. God damn. Okay. All right. All right. Yeah. There you go. That's the That's stuff. Pretty good. Much better. Too much. <laughs> yeah, a, a little, a little too much actually. Tone it down a little bit, that champ. Yeah, there you go. Much better. Much better. Okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Just trying to find that right level. Woo. <laughs> Question mark. A special thank you to Popsy for our theme song, Prism Shard for our logo, Paper Pennies for the beautiful art in our intro, and of course, our producer is Motion Dan. See y'all next month, everybody. Bye. Bye. Farewell. Goodbye. And then this is the part. That's just it. This is the part. Oh, this oh. is the part <laughs> where we well. all talk and pretend the show is not done. They tried, he tried to, to kill, kill me with a forklift. Oh, hey. But I had a gun. <laughs> that, you know, that was basically mine and John's Halo playthrough. Our Halo yeah. Reach playthrough. I have no idea what just happened, honestly. Are we still on the podcast? The happened. And that's, yeah. oh. that's what um, happened. I don't think so. I didn't just dream that. <laughs> don't Are get you? me started on dreams. I am traumatized. <laughs> don't get me started on dreams. <laughs>